I'm going to start by building a cylinder by choosing cylinder in standard primitives. I'm going to come over here and make a cylinder. Yours may be a different color, don't worry about that. Then I'm going to take my W key to make it a selection and I want to bring it into the middle. Now as you know it's hard to find the middle. It helps to look at all your views. That shows me in the top view that that's pretty centered. There's an easy way to get your object in the middle. That's to come down here and right click on the XYZ slider and that puts it at zero in every dimension. So now I know it's dead center. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my object and convert to editable poly because I want to make it a cone shape. Then I'm going to select vertices. I've got too many vertices here to make a cone shape very easily. So I'm going to undo and I can go over here and undo or I can press control Z. Those are the same thing. And before I go to my vertices I'm going to modify my cylinder here and reduce the height segments down to one. Oops. You can see the height segments disappear in the other views. So now that my height segment is one I'm going to right click convert to editable poly and choose my vertices. Then I'm going to come over here and choose the select this select object tool and I'm going to drag a marquee around the bottom vertices. Hit R to scale. I want to scale them and pinch them together. So I want to be in the middle to get all the axes. I'm going to left click and pinch those together to create a cone shape. Hit W. Okay, so there's the beginnings of an ice cream cone. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to hit sides and add a loop just like we did with the lid of the treasure chest. So I want to add a loop over here to make it a little bit more ice cream cone shaped. So I'm going to drag a marquee around these sides and I'm going to insert a loop and there it is. I'm going to middle mouse button and zoom in a little bit here. Then I'm going to take my selection tool again and I want to oops I want to I want to select vertices and I want to select these vertices then I'm going to move them up. So hit W for your select, select and move key. Then I'm going to choose the Z axis and I'm going to move my vertices up. Oh, now it looks more ice cream cone-ish. Select W. I'm going to click off there. Now I'm going to pan above my ice cream cone to take a look at it. Press Alt, middle mouse button. Let's take a look inside. I want to do something about that inside. So what I'm going to do here is select this polygon on top here. Now I'm going to do something similar to what we did to create the box in the treasure chest. I'm going to select this and I'm going to inset by let's say, let's try three centimeters again. Maybe a little bit more. That looks good. Now I want that to sort of sink down, otherwise the ice cream has nowhere to go. Now I'm going to choose that polygon and I'm just going to delete it. Now the ice cream has somewhere to go. Okay, let me middle mouse button and zoom out. Now we're going to create a sphere. So we're going to go to the plus button choose sphere and we'll build our sphere. Now I could build it here but who knows where it really sits in space. I want to build my sphere 
somewhere where I'll be able to find it. So a good place to do it would be in the top view, right above my cone. So I'm going to click and drag a sphere. Actually, look, it turns out to be right below my cone. That's okay. There's my ice cream, my sphere. And I'm going to press W and I'm going to move it up the Z axis so that it sits on top of the cone like that. Let me pan Alt middle mouse button to get a good look at that. Alt zoom in so that I can see if that's sitting nicely. Okay, maybe I can lower it just a little bit. And maybe move it over a tiny bit. Okay, you can play with it till it's situated right there on that cone. Let's change some colors right now. So that it looks more ice cream cone-ish. I'm going to change my ice cream to chocolate ice cream. No, vanilla ice cream. And the cone, I'm going to switch to a more cone type color. Maybe it's this one. Yeah, I like that one. Okay, now, does it look more like an ice cream cone or maybe a golf ball on a tee? I'm not sure. It's always a good idea to get into the habit of naming things, so let's call this ice cream. And we'll call this cone. This ice cream is a little bit perfect. I want to zoom in here. And I'm going to make a soft selection and change the shape of this ice cream so it's a bit more natural. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to make this an editable poly so that we can choose the vertices. And with my spray can, I'm going to come and select some of the vertices. Ooh, let's have soft selection on by opening that soft selection. Okay, now I'm going to pan around my ice cream cone and I'm going to left click, ooh, hold control to click more than one to select more than one spot. Alt middle mouse button, press control and click. Alt middle mouse button to rotate Press Control to add to your selection and click. Okay, let's try that. I've released the Control button. I'm pressing Alt, middle mouse button to look around my ice cream cone. Now I'm going to change the vertices that I've selected. Hit R for Scale. And I'm going to scale them all uniformly and just move them out a little bit like that so it starts to look a bit lumpy. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. It looks a bit more ice cream cone-ish now. Press W. Let's turn off Editable Poly. And press Alt Middle Mouse button to pan around and have a look. Oh, that looks much more ice cream-ish. Let's practice a bit more with soft selection and make some, e say, make some more changes. So go back to Editable Poly here. This time I'm going to choose a smaller selection. So I go back to my spray can. My spray can's still on. And I'm going to lower the fall off. And this time I'm not going to press control. I'm going to press a new area. And I'm going to really lower the fall off so the lumps get smaller. And I'm going to make my brush size smaller. So my lump, lumpy area. Oops, Ooh, look at that. Ah, I'm in the Move tool. Alt. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Look, that's terrible. Now I'm going to press Q. I'm 
I'm going to press Q to deselect everything. And then I'm going to hmm, make sure spray can is still selected. I'm going to spray some new areas. Make sure my brush size is low. I want a smaller brush size. Okay, let's try that. I'm going to scale those in or out, in I think, to make it a little more of a natural soft ice cream shape. Okay, press W. I'm going to pan around. Let's take off the editable poly. Pan around and I'm pretty happy with my ice cream now. So our ice cream is selected here. And I'm going to make these a group. Group 1. That's fine. And I'm going to shift and rotate. E. Press shift. Rotate. But there's a problem. They're rotating on the wrong axis, so I've got to move this pivot point down. Effect pivot only, and I'm going to press W and move the pivot point directly down to the base of the cone. Now I'm going to press, oop, I'm going to take effect pivot only off. And I'm going to press E to rotate my cone. Press shift before you click to make a copy. And there's one ice cream fallen over. Copy, yes. And that's pretty much it.